Homes that have heating oil tanks or propane tanks that are located in low-lying areas may be flood prone. Now this could be along rivers, it can be along coastal areas, it can be along bays. But if you're in a low-lying area, it's important to anchor the tanks because it's possible that you could have rising water, you could have tidal surges that could float the tanks off the ground. Most tanks are not normally tied down. The simplest way to tie down tanks is to use ground anchor. Ground anchors have been used for many years to tie down mobile homes. They are metal rods that screw into the ground. They have an auger head on them and you use a machine that screws them into the ground. Now before you start anchoring tanks, the first thing you want to do is you want to check with your local utilities and make sure there are no buried utility lines. I'm talking about water lines, natural gas lines, electric lines, sewer lines, telephone lines. It could even be a sprinkler system at the home. You want to make sure that you're not going to, to try and auger a four foot long ground anchor into anything but dirt. The best way to install ground anchors on fuel tanks is you install two anchors on each side of the tank. And when they're in the ground four feet, they have a pullout strength of around 5,000 pounds. So these anchors are very strong. Ground anchors are installed with a specialized machine. This machine is used by people that install anchors for mobile homes. Now once the ground anchors are installed, the two on each side of the tank, you merely run the straps over the top of the tank. And there's a slotted bolt on each one of these ground anchors heads. The strap goes through and then you just literally wind it up and tighten it. And then you lock those bolts in place and the tank's anchored. It's just that simple. Now we recommend that you use galvanized anchors and we recommend that you use stainless steel straps be a good idea to put some kind of rubber sheathing on the straps. The tanks are painted and you do not want to damage the paint which is a protective finish on the tanks. Tie down systems will last as long as the tanks they're, they're holding down. Propane tanks which are the horizontal tanks have four anchors, ground anchors, and they have two straps going over the top. The vertical propane cylinders have a harness that goes around the top of the vertical propane cylinder and they attach to a ground anchor on each side of the cylinder. Heating oil tanks are not pressurized. They have a vent pipe and they have a fill cap. Both of these are places where water can get into the tank so you want to extend the height of the vent pipe. Now how high do you extend that vent pipe? You'll have to talk to your local floodplain manager at your local community they will give you an idea how high you may expect flood water to rise at the location of the tank which means that you'll know if is it going to be a foot above the tank or is it going to be four feet above the tank once you determine that flood height you want to extend your vent at least one foot higher than that level the oil fill cap is another problem area on a heating oil tank Make sure that the oil fill cap is a screw-on cap that has a gasket so that if flood water rises above the height of the cap that water will not get into the tank and oil will not get out of the tank. In summary, the three things we do to a heated oil tank is we anchor the tank to the ground so it will not float We extend the height of the vent pipe so flood water will not get in and we use a sealing fill cap so that no flood water will get in and no oil will get out. What we have now is a tank that's flood proofed. You will not cause pollution at the location of your home and your neighborhood. It's a good thing to do.